What's going on guys? It's your boy Ian K back again with another one for you. This time over at Taco Bell for today's review guys. Taking a look at their latest Tuesday drop, which is actually a Tuesday Wednesday situation before this actually goes nationwide. So you've seen the title to this review, you know exactly what it's going to be. Omar Apollo's Disha Hot Discovery Box. A lot of goodness on the inside of this, but of course the main draw is going to be the hot sauce itself. And of course we'll find out what's on the inside of this box as well. So sit tight because it's all coming up next for you. And after this quick intro, get ready to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Yeah, buddy, this is definitely a loaded box, guys. We've got three main items right there in the middle, and of course, we've got some chips, we've got some cheese sauce, and the main draw is obviously going to be the Disha hot sauce right over there as well. And I can't wait to give that a shot. A lot of tasty goodness on the inside, and of course, again, like I mentioned, we're going to be focusing on exactly this right over here. And as you can see, guys, it's saying right there in the middle, Who's Omar Apollo? And that's actually something that I was wondering myself. He's actually a Mexican-American singer-songwriter who's pretty popular, apparently, but it's my first time hearing of him, honestly, over here with this collabo with Taco Bell. But obviously, he's got a very cool recipe, his family, I should say, for hot sauce that was passed down for generations. And apparently, this is going to be the main draw with this. So very excited to give this a shot. And of course, he's going to be promoting his new album that's actually going to be coming out, if not already. I believe it's called God Said No. So I'm sure that's going to be pretty good for all of you peeps who are fans. But guys, when it comes to this, and actually with the collabo with Taco Bell, We've got a hot sauce situation. I'm really kind of digging the collabos that Taco Bell has lately by mixing it up naturally with these name brand situations. So waiting for the hot ones to eventually make their way over to Taco Bell, but still, I will dig with the alternative versions over here. And naturally, this fits very good with the marketing for sure. So I figured we would start off by just basically trying a couple of the items with the sauce itself. And one of the things that I haven't had in a very long time is the Doritos Locos Taco which is a lovely situation. And like I said, this box is a loaded situation here. Definitely a banging thing. I might as well do a quick breakdown before we get into this because naturally we'll do the sauce and then we'll move on with the day. So what you're looking at here is a very loaded box, what they're calling the Disha Hot Discovery Box, featuring, as you can see, three main items. And in this case, we have a Doritos Locos Taco, all the goodness on the inside there. We've got the beef, the cheese, the lettuce, and of course that Doritos Locos Action. There's a standard crunchy taco, which is basically the exact same thing, minus the Doritos Locos action right over there as well. And the main thing, as far as I'm concerned, is the cheesy gordita crunch, featuring that seasoned beef, the three cheese blend, the lettuce, the spicy ranch, the cheddar cheese. And of course, we have it separated with that cheesy goodness in between the shells right over there. And guys, a little side of chips and cheese to go with that. A very lovely thing there. And naturally, with a medium drink of choice, I decided to go with Baja Blast Zero Sugar. Gotta love it. Definitely a banging situation. And of course, the main draw itself, the Disha Hot Sauce. Basically, a smoky sauce that's a combination of habanero, jalapeno, and chili de arbols. So I'm thinking there's going to be a little bit of heat to go with the smoke factor with this one. But guys, again, basically that family recipe that's passed down for generations, and now he's teaming up with Taco Bell to light it up here. So a lovely thing indeed. And again, for the price point of this, I'm glad this box is packed. At $9.99 here in Southern Cali, it's definitely a pretty penny. But take a look at all the pretty goodness on the inside. All right, so let's go for a little sip of some Baja Blast Zero Sugar action just to wet the whistle, and then we'll get into some hot sauce with the Doritos Locos starting us off. Hang on. <sighs> Delish. Banging situation. All right, so I know I'm showing this packet to death because I'm really digging the way it looks, guys. It looks really, really cool. So let's give this a shot. Naturally, I've got it all set up for the Doritos Locos action right over here. And we'll do a little pour on this. And hopefully I broke that just enough to get the sauce in here. So let's give this a shot. There we go. We all know what it tastes like for the Doritos Locos Tacos on here as well. So we'll keep putting that in there. Very nice. Hang on one second. And let me just set this up correctly. All right, here we go. Let's give this a shot, guys. It's going to be the Disha. Disha. I believe it's pronounced Disha. Disha hot sauce over here at Taco Bell. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Smoke right away. Very smoky, actually. Oh. Oh, yeah. A little bit of heat. And that's really lighting up beautifully. Let me rip this open a little bit more. There we go. That is pretty nice. Let's do a little bit more in there. Hopefully that's staying focused. It's a dark sauce. Absolutely. We'll do maybe three bites of this one here. But I'm digging the smoke factor. It's definitely got more smoke. A little bit of sizzle, nothing crazy though, but very flavorful. And of course it goes nice with the seasoned beef. Let's keep going in. 
Mm. Oh yeah, I like that. That is good. Doritos Locos Taco Action, it's been a minute. That classic flavor, as you can see. Very, very nice with the seasoned beef. Let's just do one more on this one because I really want to try it on the uh, cheesy gordita. But I definitely wanted to give this one a shot because it's been a minute. Let's just do that real quick. There you go. It's been a while, but I got to say, I'm digging the collab with the sauce with this. That's pretty nice. Let's keep going in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It may have been a while, but it's like riding a bike. Very, very tasty on this one. You don't forget the quality of that. Very, very nice. So, so let's go for that cheesy gordita crunch because this really is the main event version to go in on. And as you can see, guys, a lovely thing here. Lots of action. We have that nice little flatbread action. Of course, it's going to be separated with that cheesy goodness in there as well. All the classic Taco Bell goodness you already know. And again, I am really digging the smoke factor on this. It really is very nice. And there's actually a lot in one packet here for this sauce. So let's give it a shot and see how it lights up all the usual Taco Bell goodness uh, with this Disha hot sauce. Let's peep this out. Mmm. That's hearty. Hearty and carby at the same time. Of course, you've got that flatbread style outer tortilla, the flour action, the crunch of the regular taco on the inside, the spicy ranch. Very, very nice on that, as you can see. Very nice with the overall flavor of Taco Bell's goodness and with the smoke factor of the Disha hot sauce. So let's just go for another couple of quick bites on this one. And uh, man, I'm really making that one packet last year. Let's keep going in. Mmm, man, that's good. It's been a minute since I've had anything other than the promo items here. So one of the regulars, definitely a banging thing. Not bad. Not bad at all. And a lot of goodness on the inside of this box. So aside from the throwaway with the chips and naturally the cheese, of course, all the three main items that you're going to see on here, not a bad value. And again, for $9.99, here in Southern Cali, I think it may average about eight, eight fifty or so elsewhere. So of course it's a little bit more elevated, but at the same time, you're getting a lot of food here at the same time as well too. So naturally three packets of that hot sauce, I think it should cover everything pretty nicely. And overall, the flavor is pretty good. Again, that smokiness is good. And uh, the overall flavor of the jalapeno, naturally, it's adding a nice little bit of heat there. And with the chili de arbol, which I've never actually had before, again, what I'm really getting out of this is more of the smoky factor. And I really like that because you don't really get that too often from Taco Bell sauces. So I like that. It really feels distinct. And I know this is probably a little blurry. Let's just keep going over here. I was off to the side. We'll do a little bit more. We'll light it up with one more bite. And then we'll wrap the review with the rating coming up next but a nice little combination of goodness and i think more than enough food to satisfy uh, for what you've got here a very fun little situation before this goes nationwide by the time you're seeing this review it's probably going to be past or so considering this is tuesday at the same time but you've got a lot of stuff to look forward to naturally and now uh, the flavor is pretty nice so let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap this one up hang on hmm. Well, like I mentioned previously, this is a pretty tasty box of goodness over here at Taco Bell. All the familiar flavors are going to be on display for you, but naturally with the addition of Omar Apollo's Disha hot sauce, that's really the main draw and obviously the main reason you're watching this review to see if it's really worth it. And I would say it really is, guys, because the quality of the sauce is absolutely up there in the flavor department and the smokiness is a banging situation. So given the value of what you're going to get here for the money, you do get a lot, but at least you also get three nice packets of that Disha hot sauce as well. This is definitely something to check out. It's really pretty good. All right, so as for the rating, I think I'll just do an overall with this one based upon the value, the flavor of the sauce, what you get naturally there as well. So based upon all of that criteria, I'm gonna have to give Omar Apollo's Disha Hot Sauce Discovery Box a pretty decent eight out of 10. It's classic Taco Bell flavor. It's everything you know and love from Taco Bell with three main items thrown in there. And I have to say the addition of the Doritos Locos Taco, adding a little color variation and overall taste is a pretty nice addition to this box outside of the usual crunchy taco and the nacho chips and the cheese sauce that it comes with. But guys, the cheesy gordita crunch, that's the main highlight. And of course, with your drink of choice, in my case, Baja Blast Zero Sugar, a banging situation. And of course, again, the flavor of that sauce, a pretty lovely thing indeed.
It's definitely something to check out because of the awesome smokiness that it adds to the usual Taco Bell flavors over here. That was the main thing that set it off for me. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. What did you guys think of Omar Apollo's Disha Hot Sauce over here at Taco Bell? Is it a banging situation in terms of the flavor? And if you're familiar with Omar Apollo already, are you a fan of his music? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep the Side Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.